Oh my god, look at those teeth! <laughs> Oh, well, it's playing me pretty much the entire song, so... He needs to calm the fuck down. Hey, hey, everybody, we're playing Zone of the... the zone... the end zone. Playing the end zone. Football! Oh. Uh... He's going for the pass. Yeah, he's throwing the Hail Mary right now. Let's see what happens. Wait. Oh, does he have wires in his face? Hmm. Huh. That seems dangerous. Yeah. Oh, got the Hail Mary pass! He just... LITERALLY KILLED EVERYONE ON THE OTHER TEAM! Yeah, this intro is really long, holy crap. This is like an anime intro that decided to... Just be the game? Be hit the whole, <laughs> the whole first episode. Yeah. They actually have some anime stuff about this. They have, I actually own it. Dolores Eye is the series. It's okay. I mean... Look at those nipples. It's alright. Why does he have nipples? I think that guy's actually in it. I think his name is Goldman or something like that. Why does he have nipples I on his suit? I'm not sure. Is his nipples so big that they need the, like a special nipple area I, to be? Why does Batman have nipples on his? Because it only happened once. Because <laughs> it only happened once. That's, that's the reason why. <laughs> and everyone knows Batman nipples are the worst. <laughs> So, this game is awesome. <laughs> it's teeth. I don't know. I, I know you've seen me play it a little bit. Yeah. And w what did you think of it? Yeah, this is the HD collection, which nobody bought. Wow! High Speed Robot something? I didn't see what it said. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a Kojima staple. Action. Of course it's action. It's just all right. All right, let's do it. Um, oh, I'm going to play the sec. Oh, yeah. I forgot this has got both games, but it only showed the intro to the second one. <laughs> We're going to play the second one, because the first one's kind of, uh, not as good. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a good game, but it, it it's definitely, like, stuck in the time period that it came out in, you know? I think the it, Gundam it, type? It was, no, I think it was, like, pretty much a launch title, oh. and, uh, like, the game was just designed very poorly. Wasn't it for PS2? Yeah, it was a PS2 launch title. I think that's right around the, the end of the Gundam the time. David it's Mars! So we're gonna... Yeah, this episode anyway. first time it's gonna be long, but I don't care. What I thought about this game when you played it was... Oh, this is interesting. I don't care about robots that much. I don't either. But, like, this game is awesome. Like, this this game made me care about these robots. And that was it. <laughs> it's so uh, weird let's because... Let's skip this, because, yeah, we're gonna... Go giant robots. The only thing I've ever really liked is Gurren Lagann. And I know you didn't like Gurren uh, Lagann. I, did, I did not like Gurren Lagann. And you Lagann. like this... Yeah. I don't care about this this much. So, let's see. Man, this is so like... Next thing we're going to oh, play through, guys, dude, is Gurren Lagann. Dude, I can pick my Jehudi. Jehudi. <laughs> Jehudi dubs. Uh, so, yeah, these are like different skins and they give you different abilities, but I'm just going to stick with... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Naked? Yeah. Like, it's got big old, like, ripped up parts. Spoilers! We're going to arrive at Almon? Now we're going to go to Jehudi. Start the game with no saw weapons. Yes, please. So yeah, does it have? Is the naked one like it's got gears showing and all that kind of stuff? No, I if I don't remember what happens. Like all the this game like uh, fucked up. Oh, it's twenty one seventy four. Oh, that's the year. Uh, yeah. No wait, that's part of that's part of like that's a important year. I don't know. Fucking whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the animu takes place in twenty one seventy two. I think. Well, there's two animus for this. There's the OVA, like the movie, and then there's the series. I don't remember what the OVA is called, though. Uh, it's pronounced Uvia. Shit, what the hell is it called? Idolo. That's what it's called. Idolo. 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 It's on Callisto hanging out. Without some fucking grain. Hanging out with the family. Hey, so out. basically, uh, I'll sum up the first game for you. Yep. Some uh, some teenage kid comes into contact with Jehudi Dubs, and shit goes down. Gets in Jehudi, and then he basically f staves off this like attack on uh, this colony orbiting Jupiter or whatever. Hold the on. Was that the one where you're playing as the guy? He finds it in a box, or is it this one? 
This is the one where he finds in the box. Okay. Okay, then go ahead. Uh, so what the, the first game is, is Leo Stenbuck, I believe is his name. That's the, the little kid of the first the first game. Uh, basically, he lives on this, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it, there's a space colony orbiting Jupiter. And then uh, the Baram Army, I think it's the Mars Army, they invade the place specifically looking for Jehudi. And uh, but you know, at the, by the time they find it, like he, Leo's already gotten inside of the the orbital frame, is what they're called. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's plotting around, fucking shit up, and basically the entire like game, you're just trying to get off of this uh, space colony, more or less. Some girl contacts you have like half, halfway through, and she's like, "Hey, we Jehudi's got a mission on Mars, and we need you to get off the space colony so we can send Jehudi to Mars to go do the mission." So basically, the whole like ending part of the game is you getting on the ship with them to go to Mars, more or less, yeah. and then it's picking up right after this. So I'm pretty sure we. I don't think we find this out till later, but I'm going to tell you about it now. Um, Thank you. Okay. Uh, the reason why we find Jehuti on uh, Mar- on Callisto here is because I think like since it's such a hot item for the Barum Army to be after, they dump it here just as a hiding place. So that's why we. That's why we find it here. Spoilers. Because I'm guessing this place is permanently uh, frozen slash yeah. snowstormy, so yeah, it's like a hiding spot. It's like a mining planet or whatever. I don't know what we're mining here. Probably Metatron. Metatron's like the... Megatron? It's like the Ragnite of this game. Mm, okay. Ba- precious resource that everybody has, you know? It's the Tiberium? Yeah. Right. Exactly. You got it. Why is this fucking so... Yeah, this thing's super slow, and it's shitty. Which is actually, like, really kind of crazy, considering it's a pretty futuristic robot in, in our terms, you know? Okay, now, would you live in this world? This universe? I don't know. Or would you feel it's too deep? <laughs> too deep. Too dangerous. It wasn't here last time I came. I don't... You know, I mean... Maybe... I always like how the cockpits are legitimately cockpits in this game. Like, they're placed they're on the, the, penis. the penile region of the robot. But I guess that makes sense, kind of, maybe. Yeah. Because it's, it's close to the ground, how, I guess. How has nobody found this? It's just sitting there. Like, how, how does nobody find it, you know? Yeah. I don't know. So my name's Dingo Ringo. Uh, Ringo Dingo. Ringo Dingo is my guy's name. Uh, it's a really stupid name. I found one. this robot, and they say it's... Oh. A finger! A finger! <laughs> <laughs> well, don't shoot me, I'm just the bloody pilot! Wait. <laughs> Angie. 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 So, th- so this game actually is a lot better though than the first one because the first one was kind of more open ended, whereas this one's like very linear. Mm-hmm. But it keeps the pacing pretty nice, so that's a that's a good thing. Oh no, it's the thingy guys. Now are those piloted by people or no, are those those are, those are unmanned ones? Okay, the Rubits. Yeah, I forgot. I think they're called Raptors. I think is what those ones are called. And those those tiny little ships that just flew by are called mosquitoes. My liver's damaged. Damn Barham. You were like pausing with your mouth open. Get your ship down into the ditch yeah. and stay hidden. Yeah, his uh his mouth movements are a little off. Yeah, that's cool. We had the same issue with Life is Strange and I didn't care. Yeah. Get in the thingy dingy, bro. Or die. I like how he's got fur on his spacesuit. I think that's kinda cool. Yeah, it gives him uh gives him some extra warmth in space. So I think uh, the point, uh, like, or like in the Idolo, Idolo was the, uh, the OVA, and that was chronologically like the first thing that happened, like within the uh, story here. Mm-hmm. That was when they made the first orbital frame called Idolo, and uh, basically it's one of those scenarios where they run it on. It works on Metatron. Metatron's like our, you know, fuel source of the future. Yeah. Uh, so they crafted uh, this orbital frame, as they're called, with a bunch of Metatron, and the pilot of it, Radium Lavans, I think his name is, 
something like that. Radium something. Okay. Uh, it's one of those scenarios where like that particular like resource is like corruptive. So the more he's inside of this orbital flame, he goes crazy. Mm. Uh, and I'm pretty sure. But he's... you're the one that's pure of heart and won't won't get crazy. No, I think at this point in this in the uh, story, they've actually like perfected like the art of like making these orbital frames, or at least like these at least Anubis. No, never mind. No, every single one of them, I'm pretty sure that they actually like figured out how to like make make it so people don't get crazy when they're inside of it. You know. What is the efficiency of this frame? This is Boobies. Jehudi. Who is this? This is oh, I, There's a way to zoom in. How do I zoom in? So this is a battle computer, isn't it? More reliable than the Lev's navigators. <laughs> no. Please. Oh, at least he's nice. Yeah. And now I'm just gonna. Ending, yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess you don't need them actually. I've played the game before. We found our objective at point zero four. Roger. There's Ken. For zero there she is. Her and her twins. <laughs> oh, I didn't know she had a sister. <laughs> it, Wouldn't it's they be triplets? It seriously kind of uh, kind of bothers me how big her boobs are. <laughs> like they're anime. they're anime style. Yeah, but I mean, like it's un it's so weird. Yep, mosquitoes, mosquitoes. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, we're gonna bite you. Grr. So this is like one of those games where I'm sure you watch it and you're like, you're playing the game? Because it's like there's so much wild shit that goes on. It's, it's just interesting to yeah. see all this. I remember when I, when I was playing it over at uh, Jimmy's place, he was just watching it. Like, this is cool to watch. Yes, I'll connect you now. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> he's just looking at his tits. Where are you now? Oh, don't move! I'll be there soon! Enemy approaching. Cashin! <laughs> I was looking at his tits the whole time. <laughs> Hello! Seems like you got a it's massive boner. This game's actually kind of hard, too, in certain points. It's kind of annoying really difficult. It's kind of hard. I'm so sorry for you. Uh, there's this one part where we gotta do... We gotta rescue somebody before they fall into lava. It sucks. And it's like, I, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what happens because it's been a while since I played the game. But, uh, yeah. It shit happens. Yeah, some bullshit happens. That's really all you gotta know. I feel like, uh, anybody who watches this video, and I mean anybody, is probably gonna see this game and, like, have never seen it before because nobody has played these games. I remember I played the, the first one quite a bit, though, because it was on a demo disc and I actually really liked the game back, even back then. It's got you, you're a robot. What's what's not <laughs> what's not to like? Yeah, what's not to I'm, like? I'm a robot with a penis. Well, except for if you don't like robots, I guess. See, well, that's like, the thing. It's like I don't like robots. I don't give two shits about robots. But like this game's cool. Like I don't know. I, like I used to game. watch Gundam back in the day. Yeah, and then yeah, I, I just kind of burned down on it after watching it. I watched one and I'm like, eh. Mm. So, like I said, the only thing that ever brought me back to. Robots is Gurren Lagoon. And I don't care for that show. Not my thing. I don't care about your face. I don't care about your fucking opinion. Well, I don't care about <laughs> you caring about my fucking opinion. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those, like, I remember when we watched Gurren Lagoon. Chip is done! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going solo! I remember when we watched it, though, like, uh, I, I like the spa one. That was a good episode, but that was, like, the only good episode for me, because it was, like... It was funny. Well, it was one of those, like, scenarios where it's, like, the show, it's, like, oh, you only have to watch the first eight boring episodes before you get to any of the good ones. I liked the first episodes, but... I didn't. Oh, it definitely changes after the eighth one. Oh, yeah, it does change. No, I, I, will, I will give you that much. I did watch up to the point where, like, the big... Big thingy happens, but even after that, I'm like, yeah. Oh, okay. How far did you get? Like, uh, so I 10, got, 12? I got up to the part where he meets the girl with the uh, crosses in her eyes. Oh yeah. Uh, um, fucking, I'm gonna call her plus. Yeah. Call her medic. Yeah, medic. 
Because she had, like, seriously, like, medical crosses in her fucking eyes. It was weird. Yeah. You wanna know what happens? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. I'm in too damn bad. How about that? <laughs> He was gonna do it. He was gonna say. Yeah, I'm gonna say it anyway. It was more of a question, just because I'm being. You're, polite. Gonna, you're gonna preface it like with a question that I clearly answered. Like <laughs> uh, <laughs> how unironic it was too. Just, no. <laughs> anyway, so what happens is they grow up. Uh. You mean Simon? Yeah. Simeon. Sim Simone. Yeah, they all grow up. To because they defeat the spiral king. I don't know who that is. The guy who they're going after. Beat it, Rick. That, that's who they're fighting. They're fighting all the generals of the spiral king, and then they're gonna go fight the spiral king. So that happens. They all grow up, and then humanity basically regrows. They go back to the surface. Yeah, everybody comes back to the surface. Oh. And then it hits like. 10,000 humans are alive. Mm -hmm. And then, like, this alien probe thingy happens. And, um, plus, plus sign. Medic. Medic. She, like, gets possessed by this thing because she is the. She is the conduit for this alien that is going to destroy all the humans. Yeah. And it's the moon. Or something. I can't remember what it was. And, uh,. Whoa. That was a weird scream. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. Holy crap, you see like lasers go around here like twice? Yeah. So yeah. That happens and then they go up to fight it. And they they fight it. In like a really big robot. I'm which is inside of an even bigger robot. What's Time that? for me to go to work. What's that one what's that one transformer that was a planet? Oh god! Fucking like Ultron or something. Yeah, yeah Ultron. I, I don't think it was Ultron. Yeah, fucking okay. I don't remember what his name. It's either. Ultron for all intents and purposes. So yeah, what about him? It's kind of like that. Yeah. Except for it's like huge. Like there's the <laughs> there's the original fucking. It's <laughs> something. Something so dumb. What? What if there was a transformer that transformed into a robot? <laughs> <laughs> like, like his natural form is robot, but then like transform, and then he just transforms into another robot. <laughs> like, this is oh. my incognito version. Yeah, <laughs> this is my big Big Ben incognito. Oh, Big Ben! Hey. I'm fighting Arjet. You mean big tits? Yeah, that's what my role would be. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. First. Come here, come here! Spear bomb! <laughs> that one looks like, honestly. Yeah. Maybe you bitch. But yeah, so. It, it sounds, I don't know, like. They go and destroy the, the, the original robots inside. Of a bigger robot, which is inside of an even bigger robot. Oh my god. And it has a huge fucking drill. Okay. You know what it is for me? And they pierce the heavens. Of course they do. Is that the name like the first episode? Yeah. You want this frame? I want it. That's too rough. Go me. Why am I talking to your face? Just start, just like actually, I think her start taking your movie. penis cockpit and just start whipping it at our face. I'm pretty sure her cockpit is in the face. I think. It's a little eye. It probably should be in her boobs. Fuck you, Rick. Good job, Ringo. No, it's drum solo, Ringo. Take care. <laughs> You know what I find interesting in this game though is when they like do their like you know reactions like where are you going? It's like they put it in the robot. Yeah. But yeah, that's probably not how it would work. Shut up, Ada. We're gonna do it. We have no choice. We got no choice, biatch. Biatch. Alright, well, next time. I mean, I... there's always a choice. I guess. You could choose. You could choose an action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> That's a rush lyric, isn't it? That is, yeah, that is a rush lyric. All right, next time at Chester Chapter, I'm gonna fight these spider thingies. Jimmy doesn't like that song. What song is it? Um. If you choose, you still make a choice. Uh, do -do 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 -do. That's Spinelight, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I love that song. That's a great song. Oh, these are spiders. Shit. Next time I change the chapter, sing Limelight. I don't like spiders. <laughs>